In this video, we will be going over creating and editing watch lists in MotiveWave. There are several ways to create a new watch list in MotiveWave. One way is to click on the plus button found to the right of an existing tab. And from there, you can click on watch list. And this will open the open watch list window where you can click on the create button to launch the new watch list wizard. We can also click on the file, new, new watch list menu. And this will also launch the new watch list wizard. On the initial screen of the wizard, we will be presented with a name field. Here we can type in the name that we wish to use for our watch list. I will name this my watch list. This name will be used to identify the watch list in the tab. You have a quote sheet option here, which should be left unchecked. We go over quote sheets in a separate video. We then click on Next. Motive Wave then presents us with the ability to choose columns. Now there are some default selected columns on the right hand side. On the left hand side, we have some additional available columns. To move available columns from the left hand side to the right hand side into the selected columns area, we can either select them individually, we can use a shift key to select a sequential set of columns, or we can also select multiple columns using either the control key on a PC or the command key on a Mac to select ones that are not in sequential order. Once you have them selected, you can click on the right arrow to move them over to the selected columns field. Any columns that you want to remove from selected columns field, you can then click on the left arrow and it will place them back in the available columns side. The last two buttons here at the bottom are the double arrow buttons. The double right arrow buttons will move all the listed columns from the available columns field to the selected columns field. And the double left arrow columns found at the bottom will move all the selected columns over to the available columns side. Now this is a great way to start from scratch as it will remove all existing columns. You can also rearrange the columns in the list by selecting them and using the up and down arrow keys or you can drag them and drop them into place. In the bottom left hand side we have the edit define custom columns which we'll be going over in a separate video but essentially here you can create your own columns which you can then also include in your selected columns on the watch list panel. We then click on next. From here we can add individual instruments. We can for example select from an existing list from our local database from the drop down menu. We can search for them. Now we can search for individual symbols or we can select more than one symbol from our search results again by either using the control key or the shift keys in this case I'll select a group I'll click OK I now have my list here once I have my list again I can rearrange any of the items by using the up or down arrow keys or I can simply drag and drop I can also remove one from the list if I choose to do so we then click on save and our list is created we can bring up our list by clicking on the plus, watch list, selecting it from my watch list, then click open. Our watch list now shows with our selected columns. From here, we can also rearrange our columns by left clicking and dragging and then dropping to our desired position. To edit a watch list, we can click on the yellow pencil icon to click edit watch list. And from here, again, we can select which columns we want, we can remove ones that we don't want, we can change the watch list name, and we can also add, remove, or rearrange instruments. Okay, we can also edit the watch list by clicking on the plus sign again, clicking on watch list, and then from the open watch list window, select our watch list, and select edit. From here, we can also copy an existing watch list and then modify it, we can delete it, and we can import and export our watch lists. So this concludes this video, and we'll see you in the next.